when I painted Julia, I had uh, three things in mind. I usually try to have three things in mind when I do a study like this. One of which was to uh, invent color. I was doing, doing a, um, my reference, as you can see from the corner there, is a just a black and white uh, Xerox, uh, or, or print out from on my black and white printer. Because, you know, what they say that value does all the work and color gets all the credit. Uh, so that was putting that to the test. Second thing I was trying to do was uh, uh, invent her hair color and change her from a brunette to a redhead. I am still learning how to use color, how to use, uh, and especially how to do um, uh, hair realistically. So this was uh, an attempt to to invent uh, redhead hair. Um, I'm also using a limited palette. That's I was tempted to call this whole series uh, four tubes of paint, two brushes, one hour. And because that's basically what these uh, studies are. Some sort of a limited palette, a couple brushes. I think I actually used three brushes. We can keep an eye out. But um, it's just to, to uh, learn a couple things uh, and to play around a little bit. The other thing I was thinking about was that this is the uh, third time I had been working with this particular reference. I, I did a charcoal drawing, the same scale, and I also did a smaller painting that was... Um, I think it was it was square, uh, and I used only two colors. That that was just like pure value. So um, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm I'm just working in the um, the rough drawing, uh, but I, and I would call it like putting down the surveyor's marks, uh, and then I have masked it in with a little bit of. Uh, I should mention what colors those are: titanium white, uh, burnt sienna. I just I've gone through a uh, brief infatuation with. <laughs> with a burnt sienna, where I was using it for all my, like, uh, tonal studies. Um, and that's raw umber, and a little bit of, um, ultramarine blue. I had a, had an affair with, um, uh, ultramarine blue a, a little bit before, where I, where I had a, I painted a whole bunch of things in just blue and white. Anyways, um, so, and what I'm going, doing into here is these are, I've got, looks like I'm mixing in, I'm still masking in all the, the darks. I'm using all that uh, lovely uh, umber to just push in the shadows. I sort of cheat. Um, I know they say you should always go from the uh, darkest darks. And I always try to reserve my darkest darks. I, I think it's because I learned how to paint from watching Spinal Tap. I always want to have my amps go up to 11. I, um, I want to be able to, you know, so I start off with the, uh, the, uh, a pretty darn dark. Uh, but I always like to have um, the highest highlights and the lowest darks uh, still available at the end of the piece. Uh, here I am putting in the midtones. I've mixed up. I'm trying to get better at mixing with a palette knife uh, other than mixing with my brush, just because I really want to learn how that um, I always know what's on the end of my brush. And sometimes I don't clean it off well enough, and especially if I've been mixing with it. Um, I'm trying to stay loose here, I'm trying to just keep some some general flowing strokes, inventing uh, just general mass together um, areas. I'm um, yes. Anyway, so so I mixed mixed a mid tone. Um, I some of my other pieces I, I try to mix all the colors in the in the beginning. I obviously didn't do that here. Uh, I'm I'm sort of sneaking up on color because the uh, the you've, earlier versions of this were all uh, tonal, or even more tonal. So this is a little bit of color. Uh, she's got a little bit of, um, she's not pale. And, uh, and and like I said, I'm trying to make her a redhead, as we'll see in a minute. Um, here I'm refining the, uh, just drawing a little bit, just a little bit of uh, mineral spirits on my brush, trying to wipe the stuff off. I love that, that technique of refining the exterior shape of a form by uh, just like erasing away. Um, yeah, here I am just like putting in some kind of a, a background. Again, some sloppy little strokes. Oh, no, not sloppy. Uh, I mean uh, loose. Loose and impressionistic. That's the somewhat artsy words, don't they? Um, but just a little bit uh, of color just to give a sense of contrast. Something cool. Again, I still kind of love uh, ultramarine, ultramarine. Um, yeah, so just a little... Um, gloopy little bits of background there. Um, 
and here I am trying to refine things. I'm still using my, uh, it's a medium flat, I believe. That's what I usually use for massing in and for uh, drawing. Um, yeah, so I'm still trying to just like generally get the canvas covered. Just get a little bit of paint on everything because then the real fun starts. That's the real fun of an a la prima kind of thing is you get to work wet into wet. Here I am, here I am being inventive, pretending that I know what red hair looks like. So what I think happens is that there are, uh, th there's a darkness and a, uh, and that is a different uh, quality than the light bits. So I've made, I've made this red with a little bit of um, burnt sienna and titanium white. And um, I'm just working it around. I've moved to a medium-sized brush. I believe this is a Trakel cat's tongue brush. I think I got this one from, it's got a pink handle, so I think I got it from the um, Mab Graves, you know, collectible uh, paintbrush set. I never, ever would have bought something called a cat's tongue, um, but it uh, it does have uh, some interesting variety of, in its shape. Um, but that does remind me of the, uh, who was it, Richard Schmidt, I think, said, like, you, you, you want to avoid licking the canvas and, like, uh, kissing the, uh, you know, licking it with, a like, a cat's tongue, um, like, touching it too much. Um, here I am working in some highlights. Not the braised highlights, but uh, just a little bit of uh, some of the lighter things. Um, and it's always amazing to me how, how just a little bit of highlight really makes that three-dimensional sense of form just really pop right out. Uh, so it's really good for me to remember, and I'm reminding myself in the future whenever I watch this again, um, don't don't over overdo the the highlights. Just a, enough uh, can sculpt things out. And there I am making a mistake and putting too much of a light in the darks. Oh well, I will uh, modify that in a second. I think you still have a value structure where the uh, the dark side of the face is generally darker than the bright side of the face. Here I am cheating by blending or softening. That's what I'm doing. I'm softening the edges because a lot of things actually have a very soft edge. I'm trying to keep, I think, the hardest edges or the firmest edges over by her uh, eyes just because that's where I want to direct attention, just in general. Here I am, you see I've made a darker dark by mixing ultramarine and a little bit umber. And so then I'm pushing back some of those shadows. I'm turning my amp up to 11. Fiddling, fiddling, and it's really interesting how that one little line on the top of her bangs really brings out that shadow on her forehead. Um, it's really interesting how, how, how things that you're not even paying attention to just have a great effect. And this is actually really interesting to watch myself work. I am refining shapes, trying to change the form, make sure that chin sticks out instead of just like falling in. This is obviously a very, uh, it's a discarded piece of, I think, Luan plywood uh, for uh, for the, uh, the piece. It's just a study. Uh, you can see it's been scratched at the bottom there. Um, and it's highly likely that if you have the opportunity to see this painting in life, uh, it will be, con I will have continued working on it since this. Uh, this, this is just uh, trying to record some of the, um, some of the choices and some of the ways I was working during that first flush, that first good hour, you know, 45 minutes an hour, uh, obviously sped up quite a bit. I think it's sped up four times, so it's, it doesn't take you a whole hour to watch this. Here I am softening all the edges around the hair. Hair is just remarkably soft. It, it, that always reminds, it, it's shocking. Even like when it's, it should be a hard edge along the, the, uh, the outside. It's, yeah, always soften that out. And that's what I ended up with.